Dear Journal, it's been a while since my last entry. The truth is, I've just completed my latest case, the case of the missing phone, or something like that. For documentation's sake, I'm just going to tell you. Journal, all that happened. It all started last Wednesday evening. I was sitting at my desk, just like I am now, when someone knocked on my office door at the Pioneer Protective Detectives. It's open. Are you Detective Sportsman? Yes, I am. How may I help you? Okay, so I'm in some trouble. I lost my phone, and I had it at lunch, but now I can't find it. And I'm pretty sure someone stole it. Okay, slow down. Give me all the facts of the case so I can figure it out. Now sit down and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, so... It all started this afternoon. Around 12 o'clock, I think. I had just gotten out of class and headed to Pete's place to grab some lunch and then start on my paper that I'd been procrastinating. I paid for my lunch, headed up to the main stairs. Once I got there, I found a seat uh, by the big windows and started to eat while I scrolled through Instagram on my phone. I realized I hadn't grabbed a water with my lunch, so I left all my stuff at the chair and headed back downstairs. I grabbed a water bottle and then went back upstairs. When I got there, my phone was gone. Now that does sound suspicious. Did you talk to anyone while you were gone? Or did anything else go missing besides your phone? No, I don't think so. Actually, wait, I think I didn't go back upstairs. I think I started talking to my friend. So I got distracted because I didn't want to start my paper. I think they're the ones that stole it. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Tell me exactly what happened when your friend walked in. Okay, so I walked downstairs. Nancy! What are you up to? I was thinking about going to Pete's place, but I think I'm just going to go to Starbucks instead. You want to go? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> okay. Working really hard on that paper, huh? I mean, maybe I hadn't started yet. I kind of exaggerate, but you know, Starbucks sounded good, and I wanted it to help me get through the afternoon slump, you know? Fair enough. What happened next? We headed out of Cunningham to the Smith parking lot. I hopped in my friend's car and we headed to Starbucks. Did anything unusual happen with your friend at Starbucks? And what makes you think they stole your phone? When were they upstairs with your belongings? At this point, Journal, my client's story wasn't adding up. When was the friend alone with the phone? What was their motive for stealing it? And why are we paying for a meal plan when we always go to Starbucks instead? That last one might be irrelevant to this case. No, nothing was out of the ordinary that I can remember. This isn't really much to go on, Miss Wilds, and certainly no hard proof that your friend is the thief. There's got to be a clue as to where your phone is. Think, really think. Okay, okay, uh, I'll try to remember the rest. We arrived at the Starbucks on 135th and Black Bob. The drive through was super backed up and we had already ordered through the app, so we parked and went inside. Our drinks were already at the counter, so we grabbed them and headed towards the door. I wanted a picture, but before we got to the car, we snapped a pic outside and headed to campus. But when we got back to Cunningham, my phone was gone. I'm sure my friend must have taken it when my back was- Wait, 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 hold on a second. You took a picture? Yeah. As I was saying, we were headed back to campus. You took the picture, not your friend. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyways, what did you take the picture on? My phone. My phone. When you got back to your chair and your phone wasn't there, you must have realized you didn't take it with you. Thanks, Detective Sportsman. I couldn't have done this without you. So, Journal, Miss Wilds found her missing phone and her friend was off the hook for the theft. Another case for the pioneer protective detectives in the books, and to think I was able to solve this case without even leaving my office.